Hello everyone, um, another week, another uh, limited edition unboxing for you. And this is a game that was released last week and came through PlayAsia through from PlayAsia surprisingly quickly, to be honest. They normally take about a week if you use their cheapest delivery method. And uh, this one came through in about uh, four or five days, but um, unfortunately I kind of wasn't around when it arrived, so I, it was at the post depot for, for a few days, so uh, this is the first chance I'm going to get to actually show you what's inside it. Uh, I will talk more about um, what I actually think of the game in the next section, but in this part of the video I'm just going to take a look at uh, what's actually uh, in the box. So, um, first, oh, I'll show you the cover. Um, so this is the first physical 360 release of the year. Uh, it's a limited edition version. Um, by showing you this video, you'll actually see the standard version as well. Um, it's not something I ordered separately, but you know, part of the contents of this is basically what you get in the standard version. Um, so it's one of these double-sided boxes that um, that Caves seem quite kind of like keen on. They seem to release all their releases on that. Um, Mamoru H. Well, it's not Memoro HD, but Memoro was um, was was also one of these size boxes. And as you can see, there's kind of like this. There we go. There's the back. There's the spine with the two uh, DVD cases in, um, which I'll go into in more detail. Quite interesting detail on there, but I'll go into that a bit later as well. Cover art. Um, I wasn't hugely impressed with cover art when it was announced. Um, I did think it looked better on the PS3, but for me, part of uh, of, of of my collecting habits is, uh, is the 360, and um, wherever possible, I'll try and get the limited editions. And um, it's actually grown on me. Actually, seeing the artwork in the flesh, it's it's kind of like an original piece of artwork, um, unique to this, uh, you know, to to this release on both the PS3 and the 360. It's actually really nice. I, I had my kind of apprehensions about it when I saw the scans, but um, it's really really good. Um, so we'll we'll go to what's actually in the box then. So take the case off. So yeah, the selling point of this is the fact that it has a reproduction of the original DC cover on there. Uh, obviously it's got the HD edition, um, and I've actually, well, the HD edition subtitling there. I've actually got the Dreamcast version with me. I've seen, um, yeah, I've seen someone else actually do an unboxing and, and compare the two, and they're very, very close. So... There we go. There's the DC version of the limited edition, and you'll see, you know, not that much difference. Um, it's even got the, the nice DC branding on there as well, which I think is a lovely touch. And um, if we turn them over as well, they look very, very similar. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got the GD Drive branding on there um, with the original Saturn version. The discs are different as well, but we'll kind of We'll go into that later, but nice, nice, uh, nice thing for you know, nice kind of like little artistic touch there for the uh, for the fan of the, uh, the for the DC game and the uh, the original release. Um, so actually, in here you get it's a bit kind of black and white, but I can live with that. It's the Insanity DVD for Under Defeat, so it's a super play. Uh, there's a little kind of pamphlet in there as well, and there's also the soundtrack. So um, you you do get kind of quite a bit for the uh, you know for, for actually forking out that extra and the limited edition. And the San the Insanity DVD Super Play kind of sells for quite a bit on its own if you can actually pick it up for the DC. So that's that's a really worthy addition to the set, and that probably kind of highlights you know what extra you actually get with the with the limited edition. So uh, that's the actual proper game cover itself, and this part of the package kind of like quantifies what you actually get if you buy the standard edition. Um, I might pick up the PS3 version at some point in the future, um, just you know, just for the sake of uh, being able to play it on a on a on a UK console. But we'll we'll have to see. Um, and again, because I bought the uh, DC version of the uh, of of 
the limited edition of the DC version. I never had this cover, and I always preferred this. I thought it was a really, really, really nice kind of. I don't know. I I, I love the kind of like the the, the moodiness and the kind of like the uh, the predominantly red coloration of it. I think it's really, really nice cover. But I've never had that one, so I'm really, really kind of quite pleased to get that eventually. So the game disc's not actually in. <laughs> I'll, I'll include a photo and I'll show you uh, what the game disc looks like because I've been playing it. <laughs> so, um, nice full colour manual as, as per usual. Um, I don't think there's anything too kind of stunning in there, you know, artwork wise. But you know, it's a nice, it's a nice colour manual. It does a job. Can't understand a word, obviously, <laughs> but. Um, there's a few kind of character shots there, but yeah, that that is basically what you get in this package. Um, so in the next section, I will uh, I'll actually yeah tell you my uh, gameplay impressions. So as you'll have seen in um, the first part of this video, I'm um, actually looking at the contents. Uh, the the limited edition is quite a good package. You get you do get a, a hell of a lot with it. Um, the Dreamcast limited edition is, is is really really nice. It's one of the first shoot 'em ups that I actually uh, I bought on the Dreamcast. Um, and in some respects, there's there's quite a lot of nostalgia there for the game. Um, in the in the in HD version on the 360, you get you get a hell of a lot of game really. You get the original arcade port, um, which is absolutely top top-notch spot on and you also get the uh, new order mode which is like a, it's a full widescreen version of the game uh, which again it plays slightly differently it's got a remix soundtrack um, I think it's a little slightly bit uh, more accessible as well than the uh, straight arcade part which um, is bloody difficult <laughs> I've kind of forgotten how tough it was um, I mean the, the the Dreamcast version I couldn't get huge hugely far in it anyway. I think the third or fourth level was the first that I ever got on it when and when I was playing it quite a lot. Um but the yeah, I've got nowhere near that far in the three sixty part because um I think like um one of my friends said called um Amid Storm, you probably know um him from, from his videos and from his um from his from his posts. He's a he's he's a a real authority on uh, shoot 'em ups, and he's actually said he can't work out where the hitbox is on the game. And I, I, I must admit, I, I'm the same. Um, and I don't seem to remember having that problem with the Dreamcast version. I probably did, but um, it's quite kind of um, highlighted in, in in this part, to be honest. And that's not six bad game. It's just a different way how to play shoot 'em ups. Um, I think I'm quite used to kind of like cave parts on the 360 where you've got tiny little, little yeah, tiny little hitbox. Whereas on the uh, on on this, it's it's definitely bigger, and um, I found myself getting you know a lot of deaths just by going close to the bottle of bullets and not quite getting that 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 mechanic right yet. Um, graphically in HD, it looks brilliant. I mean, I thought the Dreamcast version looked amazing anyway. Um, it's one of the last. Uh, Dreamcast games and the, the you know the the graphical quality kind of shows that it's not to everyone's cup of tea because it's quite kind of um, realistic. Um, it's uh, yeah, with you know numerous amounts of helicopters flying around and explosions, and it's not kind of you know over the top like a cave game. It's 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 more kind of like it's almost like playing like um, what can I say? It's more like, it's, it's almost like playing Desert Strike. Except um, in uh, shoot 'em up form, um, and the mechanic of actually uh, moving the ship and locking the ship is a big factor in the game. Um, you're flying around in a helicopter basically, and if you move in a left or right direction without holding the fire button and pressing it again, auto fire kicks in and the ship stays in that direction so um, constantly switching between the directions is the way to kind of to, to progress in the game. Looks like there's some extra modes for, for both versions of the game as well. Um, I think there's actually free roaming mode where you can just fly around using the uh, 
using the shift while it's, while, while the screen's scrolling. Um, I might be wrong about that, but I think I understand that's what's there. Um, yeah, not seen three sixty as the PS three version of the of the game. Um, I think it would be pretty much the same. But um, really, really impressed with the three sixty port. Um, quite sad to see that G Rev are planning to do um, Border Down, which quite a lot of people have been after. Um, they've kind of said G Rev has basically said that they're not going to they're not going to do a part of that. Um, they're talking about you know when the opportunity rises. Um, they're going to actually do a you know full on remake of the game, which I think would be absolutely amazing. But um, you know building it from the ground up. But that kind of like I'm getting away from um, <laughs> from from the shooting up that I'm talking about today. Um, it's great. I I I think it's I think it's brilliant. It's it's very tough, um, and you know for it's a good introduction for uh, for PS. Three shoot 'em up fans. I know they've had a part of um, Mon, Mon Maro, um but you know that that's it's not a real it's not a real shoot 'em up as such. Um, whereas this one is, so uh, I do heartily recommend it. I think I prefer the Dreamcast version. It feels more um, like the arcade game. It feels like it plays. Um, Closer to that. I don't know if that's because I haven't even used the uh, the arcade stick on the 360 port yet or not. But um, there's something there's something about all these ports that they they, they play better on the uh, on the DC because of the uh, the obviously the arcade Naomi system. But um, ah, stunning music as well and and special effect, uh, sound effects. Sorry. Um, so well worth picking up. One of the better games for the uh, for the 360, I think. For, you know, shoot 'em up wise as well. Um, I, all I can do is recommend it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.